Okay, so let me just make sure. Okay. I just heard we are live, so let me just move us. Alright. And alrighty, everyone. Sorry the delay. We have here that will be running out the new Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS Warpless category. If we have any donations, please donate for the St. Jude and to be in the chat. And since we are just hand over to Edegat so he can carry on on this. Good luck, buddy. All right, thanks. Um, you ready for a countdown? Uh, Restreamer should be ready, so just do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, three, two, one, go. All right. Hi, everyone. This is New Super Mario Brothers 2, uh, warpless category. So in this game, there are warp cannons that allow you to get from world to world uh, without completing the castle in each world. Um, and this category doesn't allow you to use those, so it's about twice as long as the any percent category. Um, but we get to see a lot more of the game, and there's a lot more cool tricks that we get to see, so I really like this run. Um, to me, it's definitely more preferable than the any percent run. Alright, so after this intro cutscene, we'll get started on World 1-1. Alright, so one of the first things um, that I want to point out is we need to get a bunch of the giant gold coins like that. There are three in every level, um, and just to complete the game, we don't actually need them. However, for this category specifically, um, there are a few doors that require five gold coins to unlock. And that allows you to get to different levels than you normally would. So, this allows us to either skip levels that are slow, or in some cases we actually choose a path that only has one level as opposed to two on the normal path. So I need five gold coins before World 1-4. Or actually, after World 1-4 is when I need the coins. Oops, I missed the jump. All right. Early game is pretty straightforward. Um, I take a different power-up route than most people do, just because it's what I learned. Um... It's what I learned with and did so many runs with, and it's honestly, even if I try to do the other power-up route, I end up messing it up, and I'm just more consistent with this, so um, it is slightly slower to do the method I'm doing. Normally, you would get one coin in 1-1, one, one, and then two coins in 1-3, um, as well as getting the Raccoon Suit Mario power-up in 1-3. But I'll be getting Raccoon Suit in one tower instead. Once we get the Raccoon Suit power-up, um, the game really opens up with some of the speed tech that we can do. There's a concept of uh, P-Speed in this game, which will allow us to fly. Um, it's kind of like in Super Mario Bros. 3, but it's a bit different. Um, and there are some unique characteristics of it. The way that you keep the P-Speed is different. Um, what you can actually do with it is a little bit different. So, Whoops. Thank you. 
messed up the cycle there. So that coin there is pretty free to grab. Um, this is the one that you can avoid on the other um, coin route, and that's why you typically want to avoid it, because it is a bit dangerous. Um, but that's okay. Throughout the entire run, we'll basically have a backup leaf in store, um, just in case something goes wrong. There are a couple of damage boosts where we will actually require the backup leaf to happen. Um, but we can talk about those when we get there. Um, is there a reason we jump high on the flagpoles as opposed to staying at the bottom? Yes. Um, every position on the flagpole is within frames of each other in terms of like what the actual fastest is. Um, however, hitting the pole at the 2,000 point mark, so you'll notice whenever you hit the pole at whatever height you um, hit it at, you're going to get a number of points. At the 2,000 point mark, um, that's where that's where it's the fastest, and it's about like a frame faster than the next fastest. So it's really not a huge time save either way. Um, the 2,000 point mark is just out of range of Mario jumping. Um, like, if Mario were to just jump from running at full, uh, full speed, he would only hit the 1,000 mark. So we need to either... We need to either do a triple jump, uh, which I'll do in some levels, or we need to use our raccoon suit Mario to come at it from above. Um, and so I just did the first sort of deviance from normal play, um, where I bought to this path rather than the other one. Whoops. We're going to do that one more time, where we need five coins by the time we finish World 1-3. Um, but we don't need it right now. So I'll be getting coins throughout. Um, losing my raccoon suit there is a little unfortunate. Um, luckily, there is a mushroom house right here that I'm just going to take to get a mushroom or to get a leaf really quick not really necessary for me to have on the next level it's just the next level will be a bit faster like quite a bit faster if i have a leaf from the get-go so i'd rather take the couple seconds of time loss <laughs> see i actually used to call this tanuki mario but i was informed that it is actually a different power-up Um, in this game specifically, it is not Tanuki. But you can think of it like Tanuki Mario. Um, so I haven't explained what I just did there. I should have grabbed the extra leaf. Um, I haven't explained what I just did there. That is the main speed tech in this run. Where, by getting P-Speed, you can... You can fly, um almost indefinitely um actually not indefinitely at all you can you can fly until your p-speed meter runs out and you can replenish your p-speed meter by just touching the ground uh, touching the ground and moving you do actually have to move a little bit one of the things that we can do is we can tail spin in the air and that allows us to keep our forward momentum and still go up and so we use that a lot throughout the run. Um, ideally, we have Raccoon Suit for the rest of the run, except for the couple places where we damage boost. I can see chat. What's up, Juice? Yeah. 
Yep, so now we're done with world one. Uh, so we're on to world two. So a lot of levels we end up doing this kind of thing where we just sort of fly over the level. Um, we can actually skip quite a few auto-scrollers by doing this, which is really cool. There are definitely a fair number of auto-scrollers in this game, and as you guys know, auto-scrollers do not lend well to good speedruns. But we can, we can definitely skip a few of them. Um, we'll actually be skipping at least one in this world. Not this level, but in this world, we will skip one. This is one of my least favorite levels in the run. It's kind of, it's like not hard, it's awkward. I, I don't, I don't know the best way to explain it. Yep, we did. I did intro cutscene timing, um, just because it was a bit more convenient. It gave me time to talk before the run started, and it only takes about 50 seconds. So what Juice is talking about is um, this game actually we time from first input rather than at new game. Um, so it takes about 50 seconds extra to watch the intro cutscene, um, but. For the sake of the marathon, uh, I figured it made sense to do that because it gave me a chance to introduce the game without having to talk over my playing, and as you guys have probably noticed, I like to mess up when I'm talking and playing. Kappa. It's not quite as broken as SMW, where we can fly over entire levels. Uh, we do actually have to be strategic about our flying over levels, and we have to make sure we touch down. Because um, if you notice, when I'm doing that little tailspin flying around, the P speed meter is going down. And if I let it run out completely, um, we lose our P speed and we just sort of flutter down to the ground. So I'm going to take this level. I'm just pretty bad at this level in general. Uh, I'm going to take this a little bit slow. And I'm going to make sure I grab an extra leaf here. There is a faster method you can do. Um, whoops. All right. Well, that was my own fault. I decided too late what I wanted to do. So grab that. Grab the checkpoint just in case. So we'll wait. There's a faster way you can go through this where you gain P-Speed at the bottom. And you can sort of fly all the way up to the top. And it does save a decent amount of time. Probably around 20 seconds. 20 seconds over this method. Um, only about 10 seconds over like a perfect run of the slow method. So at the top of every tower is a set of Reznors that you have to defeat. We do get to skip some of the towers in this run. Um, this run we only do 1, 2, and 3 tower and 6 tower. Um, 4 and 5 tower we can skip. There is a slightly longer category than this um, called No Secret Exits, which is definitely more of a traditional run in that there's like no there there are plenty of tricks but there's no you don't have to do any secret exit it's sort of playing through the game wow all right that was interesting i really like that run a lot better than this one um this one's a lot of fun but it's just the no secret exits is only about 10 minutes longer and it lets you see a lot more of the run and there's quite a few more auto scroller skips it's it's really cool yeah 
so this is sort of an artificial scroll um our artificial auto scroller geez i can talk um where we can influence the auto scroller by turning around and it would end up being slower um so we have to make sure that entire time that we're facing to the right otherwise he stops and this is the secret exit here so this is one of those cases we'll take a secret exit because it is it brings us to a path with only one level as opposed to two levels It also opens up another mushroom house in case I need it. Hopefully I don't. I could grab an extra leaf in the castle. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about the run, definitely feel free to ask. Like I said, I have chat open. Um, and so there's a lot of things that may seem obvious to me that I don't, um, I don't answer. But if they're not obvious to you, then definitely let me know. Um, this is one of the first auto solar skips. So normally you're supposed to stay on this platform. But you can sort of skip the whole thing by abusing RP speed. And same thing here. Oh wait, I completely messed that up. That was that was me being stupid. Um, so you guys get to see the way that's supposed to happen. Um, for some reason I thought I did the first part twice. So I... Yeah. I don't, I don't even know how to explain what just happened. So yeah, so this is what you're supposed to do for this part. Um, luckily, I don't need that coin. The first part of the run where we needed five coins, um, that was a lot um, tighter in terms of the coins that we're going to grab. There's basically five coins that we need to grab, and there's five good coins to get. That's fine. For the second coin door, um, there's like eight coins that are just good to get. So, Has my 3DS ever run out of battery during a run? It has not. Um, I always have it plugged in when I do attempts. Wow, I'm bad at everything. This boss is pretty straightforward in terms of what you have to do. Um, I am going to play this a bit more cautious. I really hope he comes... Yeah, perfect. I play Mario and I play Pokemon, that is correct. Um, I started playing Pokemon and then I decided I needed a game that actually required a decent amount of execution. Pokemon definitely requires execution, um, but it's not a platformer, and I, I've always wanted to run a platformer, so I started running this. So we're going to do the same thing I did before, or when I lost my... Uh, leaf before we're gonna grab another one because this le this level um this level's really fast and really cool if i have a leaf so i definitely want to grab that um, something else i wanted to point out um you may notice at the bottom right of the screen i have nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine um, coins and that is yeah. 
that actually does save time. So it's not like I just decided to do that one day and to show off or anything. It actually does save time. It saves, in this category, probably about... Um, whoops. Stupid fish. It saves about 10 seconds in this run. Um, about 6 seconds in any percent. And the reason it saves time is after every castle or tower or basically any time the game asks you if you want to save the game, um, it will count up the coins that you caught in that last... Or that you caught. Count up the coins that you got in that last level. I just saved for some reason. Um, it's only about 20 hours. It's really not that bad. It's not 200 hours. There's a neat way to farm it. A neat way to farm your coins. So, um, it really doesn't... I don't know what I just did. Alright, that's fine. I don't need the leaf right now. There's an easy way to get a leaf later. Um... I... New game plus timing? Not quite. The coin counter is very annoying. So yeah, this is our first water level. Um, there are a few water levels in the run. So the objective in water levels, since they're pretty... They're not... Like, this one here isn't an auto-scroller. But... Water levels in general are fairly auto-scroller-like. So... Really, the, the objective here is to try not to bonk on things, which, unfortunately, I did, and I took damage, which I don't know if I've ever taken damage in that level. Everything's fine, though. This is fine. So this is a water scroller where um, where the screen moves for us and we just sort of have to we just have to try not to get ourselves hit is really the objective in this level um, the only real enemies in this level are these little bonefish things I forget what their name are um, and the way that they work is they will lock onto you as soon as they see you, and then they will just go to that position. They don't actually, like, home at you. So. I'm gonna grab this guy real quick. This basically gives me an extra hit point, so there's no reason not to grab it. Um, and it doesn't waste any time for me to get. There is one of these things that will follow me around from level to level, and that one there does actually waste a little bit of time to get. Unless you get it in an auto-scroller like this. Um, just because there's like an animation when it gets onto your head. So yeah, nothing, nothing too exciting in this level. This is the second to last tower that we have to do. The last one is... Last one's an interesting one. Um, but yeah, so I just went into that pipe off screen. Um, levels seem to completely load side to side. I'm gonna... I'm, gonna stay away from that just because play it safe i don't i've already lost enough time to getting hit um but yeah anyways so most auto scroller levels that are side to side auto scrollers will completely load when you start the level 
any auto scroller that's an up and down auto scroller does not so you can't like there's a, an invisible ceiling so we try to get into that pipe as close to that invisible ceiling as we can yeah there's no loading time difference between 3ds models Anybody who's done the, the coin farming knows this level really well. This level is the level that you want to do in your coin farming. I messed up the first room, but we got the second one. Second one's actually the harder of the two rooms. <laughs> hey, fine. Thanks for the good luck. Alright, another ghost house. Uh, we'll be taking the secret exit here. This secret exit allows us just to go straight to the castle, which is really cool. So yeah, really not much to this level. It's just... The ghost houses typically are just know how to get through them. Um, they're really not too difficult, usually. This one, you have to know to go to the secret exit, which I guess is something. Um, normally you ride this thing all the way to the top. I did that really awkwardly, but it worked. Oh, yeah. If I'm not hosting it, it's because it went offline right before my run. Let me, let me do that. So, yeah. Now we are right into Three Castle. Three Castle is a, kind of a cool level. For a world that's, like, so involved with water, it's surprising that there's no, like, true water section. There are, like, there is water in it. It's just there's no, like, swimming in water section, which is interesting. And I am just bad. You can fly up this whole thing, but I messed up. Just grab that, please. I don't know if I've ever done this the normal way. Interesting. That only wasted, like, 10 seconds. That's really not too bad. For the purposes of safety, I'm just going to grab that. Every castle, it's kind of a cool thing. Every castle right before the boss door has a leaf that's hidden somewhere. It's kind of a cool, cool thing. We had some issues. We did have some issues. It's all right, though. It worked out. We're live now. Yeah, every one of the bosses has, like, a slightly different timing for when you can hit them, and it's kind of annoying. Um, this one and the one for World 5 is not right as they unshield, like, unshell themselves. It's a little bit after, so you gotta be careful. I have definitely lost runs because I jumped a little bit too early. Or for this one, you can apparently jump a little late, which I didn't know until yesterday when I was doing some practice runs. All right, so on to world four. World four, 
it is a pretty short world. Um, we don't have to do many of the the levels here, which is kind of why I like things like No Secret Exits, because we get to do a lot more of the levels. Um, but this one's pretty cool. So these little Goomba people, if they latch onto you, you can't jump and you can't run as fast, so we need to try to avoid them at all costs. There's a way to get rid of them, it's just... It's better if you don't have to deal with it at all. Um... Interesting. That was interesting. It's what I get for trying something I've never done before. Alright, so this is another auto-scroller kind of level. Um, but we will be taking the secret exit here. This is one of those auto scrollers that has walls, but they're not invisible walls, they are real walls. So I need to get myself some P speed. So I can do that right here. Normally in auto scrollers you can just sort of ditz around for like do whatever you want, but some of them like this one do require you to actually pay attention and get P speed at a certain point. Um, I normally actually get P-Speed at the beginning, but I messed up the timing for it. So yeah, we take this secret exit. It's really cool the way that this world is set up. Um, there's a secret exit here that goes to this world, or this level. And then after this level is a pipe that goes straight to the castle. Get the sweet underground level music. Ooh, that's actually bad. Um, all right, it's bad because of the cycles are were slightly messed up because of that. This game has some weird cycle mechanics. Um, so some things are in a cycle from the beginning of the level, and some of them are in a cycle from when you reach a certain point in the level. And I can't really figure out like what. The differences um like why is this something that's going from the beginning of the level and why is this something that's going only when you reach a certain point so luckily those electric balls are the kinds of things that are cycle based once you reach a certain point so because i messed at the beginning the ending was still fine So getting that star is, wow, uh, getting that star is actually part of the route, and it's very tricky timing if you're not used to it. Um, but luckily we we had it figured out. Um, I'm going to grab this extra leaf. That was an intentional damage boost, and normally you would just, on the boss fight, you would actually grab your backup leaf, but because I'm not playing the best right now... Um, I figured I should just grab the extra one. Based on what the objects are. Yeah, that's sort of what I feel. Burners are global timer, but... Um, some of the objects are not. Specifically, I'm thinking of Five Tower. Five Tower... 
Five Tower is one of those levels that has, like, the fastest way through it involves, um... The fastest way through it involves some very specific timing, and if you mess up at the beginning of the level, you're just done. Yep, so we're on to World 5. World 5 is a collection of the hardest levels in the game, which is funny because there are six worlds. Um... I despise every level in World 5 for this category. We actually take a secret exit in every level, I just realized. That's kind of cool. This level sucks, um, specifically because of the ending. I'm going to try doing the ending slightly differently. It's going to waste a little bit of time, but it's so much safer. Oops, I missed. So normally you don't get P-Speed here. I'm going to get it. Just because these Koopas can be annoying. And doing that wastes a little bit of time. Normally what you're supposed to do is basically hop off of each of those Koopas. Not each of them, but hop across them. Um, and because they're like moving and spinning and stuff, it's just... it's For me, it's really inconsistent, so... Doing that is perfectly fine. This world also sucks. Because of that. Luckily, there's a backup leaf in this level. What? He respawned? What a jerk! Um, I actually don't know the right way to do this. Where... Um, interesting. Is there a... Alright, I'm actually a little bit... Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I have to get the secret exit, and I need the leaf for the secret exit. I believe there is an actual, um... That's so weird. Okay. Everything's fine, guys. Don't worry. There's an invisible block. I just don't know where it is. That's why I was jumping around like an idiot. So everything is fine. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. All right. Anyways, we have to get the secret exit. The secret exit is up here. And like Juice said, there is an invisible block. I've never had to use the invisible block, so I didn't know where it was. Um, but we can grab a backup leaf here. And I did that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Everything's fine. Guys, this is fine. Everything's fine. I have been known to do that before. Oh, hi. Thanks did. for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. I did mention that I don't like World 5, right? Like, that was that was something I, I said, correct? There we go. That damage is intentional. There's a secret door behind him. So, yeah. 
that damage is not intentional, but it is fine. Dude, Pog heckin' champ. All right. So now we're getting to the dumbest level in the whole game. Um, it's dumb because it's it's just it's just it's just this ship. All we all we're doing is we're on this ship forever. And there's no way to skip it. This is one of those auto scrollers that has invisible walls on the left and right. So we just sort of sit here. And we wait. And we wait. And since we wait, this will be a good time if people have donations to donate so we can ha give the shout outs. But in the meantime, then, if we are going to wait, uh, let's remember that with this marathon, we are helping the St. Jude. So let me just put right here, St. Jude. And just let you guys know all about. Oh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. So, St. Jude's Children Research Hospital. So, uh, well, uh, what they say here, right here, is that is to advance cures and means of prevention for pediatric catastrophic disease through research and treatment, consistent with the vision of our founder, well, their founder, Danny Thomas. No child is denied treatment based on race, religion, or family's ability to pay. So we're trying to do this for a great cause. Please get the donations around here and keep watching us, guys. Uh, cool marathon, and we have great runners coming next. Though we have right here our Etiquette block <laughs> that he actually will start the Pokemon block really shortly. Though we're going to have like a midterm intermission by metroid but this is a pokemon block we don't care it's all about pokemon following this run so i guess we keep waiting <laughs> yeah no we're we're good now um it's yeah we need to take the secret exit which does involve this is one of those secret exits that is actually not possible to get without the raccoon mario so um, it's a good thing we weren't hit in that very, very riveting level. And now we're on to, in my opinion, the coolest of the castles. Um, we can skip a whole lot of this level if we do things right. So. We skip that first part. skip the second part we are not going to do there is a full five castle skip which would involve skipping this one as well um but it is <laughs> it's a trick let me tell you um if i was if i didn't have the the issues i had on five ghost house i probably would have tried it It's just so inconsistent. So I think I mentioned it earlier, this guy, his timing window for when he can be hit is really awkward. So I, I probably don't hit him as early as I can, but we basically let him jump into us. Oh, whoops. I'm supposed to get those the the keys basically off screen but it's okay so now we're on to world six world six is nice because it is identical between this and any percent um any percent we do world one up until the tower and then we take the secret exit to the cannon and then we are in the mushroom world and the flower world until world six so 
worlds two through five aren't even seen at all in any percent. So more, more flying over levels here. We do that a few times in World 6. Easy. World Star is not seen either, that is correct. World Star is only seen in 100%. Or I guess there's an all castles category. It would be seen there, too. Alright, so another ghost house, another secret exit that we need to take. And also our second to last damage boost. Common theme in this game, they like to hide things behind booze. <laughs> so there's a switch there that allows us to get to a door that'll take us to the secret exit. So yeah, pretty straightforward level there. Um, as long as you know the path through the level, like which doors to take, it's nothing too crazy. All right, this level here, um, 6A, is one of my favorite levels to do. It's just a lot of fun. Like, there's no, there's no like really cool strat or anything. It's Another one of those we just sort of fly over the level, but actually we only fly over the end of the level. We do actually do the beginning pretty normal. One of the things that really drew me to this game is the fact that It's very much just doing the game fast. Like, this is how you would probably casually play it. It's just we're doing it fast. Where a lot of other speed games are, you know, kind of... This isn't how you normally would play it. The way that you play it in a speedrun isn't the way you'd normally play it. This game is very much... Aside from the, you know, the tailspin flying stuff, aside from that, this is very much just, like, playing the game fast. Um, this is, in my opinion, the hardest level in any percent. I wouldn't say it's the hardest level in Warpless, um, but you'll see why. It's kind of, kind of fun. I almost just hit the fire. That would have been really embarrassing. So yeah. Uh, do we have time for a donation? Sure. Now, Absolutely. Okay. Because we have a twenty dollar donation from Fane Manners. I hope I have that right. That says, "Good luck, Eda. Glad to donate to St. Jude. It's just a great cause. Uh, please keep coming the donations. We need to hit our goal of four hundred dollars. And of course, we have some incentives like the air bomb na character named Bidwar." The Rabbi Rab, the Rabbi Rabbi <laughs> custom with a uh, bit war, uh, and then we have the Metroid, the regular Metroid thing, kill or save. So please keep coming to the nations. We need to get those 400 uh, the nation goal. Awesome, yeah, it's um, it's Fine Manners. He's one of the people in my community, so that's awesome. Thank you, Fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, so another level, we just sort of fly over the whole thing. Um, there's a different way you can do that level where you actually only have P speed for the last part. Um, you would do the rest of the level normally. But I like doing it that way better. This level shows off um, a neat thing where... So I mentioned earlier the concept of a triple jump. So I think every Mario game has triple jumps. It's what I just did there, where if you jump three times in a row, you can jump a little bit higher on the third jump. And this level really abuses it, where... Every one of those triple jumps that I just did was needed. If I didn't have a triple jump for that jump, then uh, we would not make it over the fireballs. We wouldn't make the jumps. So uh, that level is very particular in how we have to do it. 3D Land doesn't have triple jumps? Interesting. I did not know that. Alright, so this is the final level. Um, it's the longest level for sure. It's about five minutes long. And we'll be doing a damage boost here. Whoa, not supposed to hit there. Um, I'm supposed to get hit again, it's just it wasn't supposed to be right there. So That's fine. Um... I messed up the cycles here, so I can get my leaf back. It's not a huge deal. Um, I just have to do this auto-scroller. I can't skip it like I normally would. I don't like this room. Um, we did a new Super Mario Bros. relay race a couple weeks ago. And I was actually ahead of PB going into this level. Oh, it's this one. Uh, going into this level and I died in that room, which I never die in that room, so it was really annoying. Alright. Oh, I'm good. Alright. So that's the mechanic in this room. Um, if you get caught outside of the walls, you get petrified. Luckily, we were <laughs> technically over a platform, so we, we landed on it. That's, like, the weirdest hitbox ever. Alright. Then on to the Bowser Showdown. Grabbing an extra leaf there. So this is the Bowser jump. Bowser jump is... It's a hell of a trick. Um, just like that. Bowser can do one of three things. He can either do nothing like he just did. He can throw a hammer, which is the hardest... For me, it's the hardest uh, Bowser jump to get. Also, time did not just happen. Don't do time. There's another part after this, sorry. Um... And so he can throw hammers or he can throw fireballs. Um, so we got we got pretty lucky. Getting getting Bowser jump is pretty fun. It's always hype when you get it, dude. It was that's why I did it. I did that intentionally just to scare you guys. All right, so this is the final part. Um, I think every new Super Mario Brothers game, except for the first one, has this kind of a section where you you just beat Bowser, but you have to beat him again. It's kind of annoying. Um, and so we really... The reason I grabbed the backup leaf is we really want to have the leaf here so we can do this. We need to keep P-Speed this entire time. This section... I actually don't know how long this section is. Um, but... 
we need to keep our P speed the whole time. Um, I was a little bit late. We can actually skip that last uh, that last swipe that Bowser does. We can skip it on the first one. Um, we actually can't. He'll definitely do five swipes this time. There's nothing you can do about that. You can skip it the first time by getting up to the platform early, which I was just a little bit late on. Only wastes five seconds. Yeah, so this was early enough to skip a swipe, but like I said, the second phase, he always does five. Um, time will be coming up when I hit the final switch, which will be after this. This is the last phase. <laughs> Not a lot of notice there, but that is time. So let's see which was the official timer when the restream goes up. All right, looks like I have the stream up. It looks like fifty-five twenty. Which is really not too bad. Yeah, my timer is 5426, but that includes intro, so. Um, so yeah, that is that is New Super Mario Bros. 2 Warpless. Um, I definitely recommend this game to anybody who has the 3DS or has the game. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's really, really easy to learn. Um, and the community is great, so they'll definitely help you out with anything. So, yeah. <laughs> also, everyone should stick around because Pokemon is coming up next, and, I mean, I personally like the Pokemon runs, so you guys should definitely stick around and watch. Same. <laughs> uh, sorry about that intermission, just people that I was supposed to were just leaving, so I had to just run out. <laughs> so, yeah. okay, so, okay, guys, again, why we just tried to change scenes and stuff. Uh, remember, please keep donating. We want to reach that $400 goes and. Uh, speaking of the nations, the last nation that Fade did, actually, he said, uh, your choice, Ella. Um, yeah, so um, let me see what we actually uh, have to donate for. In the meantime, you check, actually, I just see right here a 